I'm in your house. Except you're not here yet. <laughs> we just got here to Grand's Pass. All that's missing is you. So kind of just wandering around aimlessly, though you should be here in about 15 minutes. So we're gonna hide something of your. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'd be really mean. We have hidden something in this house. You just need to find out what it is that we hid and then go, oh, is this the thing you hid? And then if it's <laughs> right, then yeah, if not, then no. See you soon. <laughs> Good morning, Ken. It is Saturday. We just finished up watching the World Cup this morning. That's why I'm wearing this. I literally woke up and Calvin made me some coffee and then was like, do you want to be home? Or away. So you are distracting me. You cannot... That's inappropriate. You just get out of the shower. Today we are going to the Dickens Fair. Stop distracting me. If you've never been to the Dickens Fair, it's this awesome representation of Victorian England. I mean, as much as you can represent it inside a place called the Cow Palace. It's just outside San Francisco. And people dress up and people are in actual like Victorian costumes. Mom literally just texted me and told me she found her petticoat. So that can only mean good things. So yeah, I'm gonna take you with me. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what to wear because I don't have a petticoat, but I'm thinking of wearing the dress that I got for Christmas. It's this black watch plaid thing from J. Crew. Kind of reminds me of the Hill House snap dress that everyone was getting that were like way too expensive. I got this on sale. So I'm thinking of just like sticking a sweater under it because it's going to be in the 40s there. Yeah, we'll see how that turns out. All right, this is what we landed on. I like it. It actually has pockets. Pretty sure this would have been more like a Victorian child. It's fine. It's fine. Got a steak and cheese meat pie. Okay. Try it. Oh. Ooh. Oh, pretty good. How is it? Yeah? It's good. Happy Sunday. I'm in the middle of a run. It is raining and it's so beautiful. We got home from the Dickens Fair last night and kind of <laughs> just got cozy and snuggled in and it was just really fun. We had a really good time. Everybody wanted to stop and talk to mom about her costume. I'm still coughing a little bit from Thanksgiving, but I'm all the way better. So I would say that those remedies worked. And then today the goal is to finish working out. We're going to go to the grocery store and get a few things. I'm going to get some stuff to make some applesauce today. Sorry, that truck was so loud. So my plan is to make some applesauce for some Christmas gifts because I'm a teacher and I'm on a budget and my grandma happens to love canning. She even has like, I don't know why I keep saying my grandma. <laughs> it's our grandma. She has like the cutest little funnel from her mom who was born in 1900. So it's just super, super sweet. I'm really excited for today. Look what we got. All the cans in Ace. Actually not all of them, but having supply chain issues, so. It's actually really amazing that we got all these. Thanks for carrying, babe. You're Thank you. 
you do is you take the apple, I believe, and what you do is you stick it on, and then you take this little guy. The guide. It's yeah. probably got a lock on it. It might actually. I pulled it down, and then you just turn, and it should. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. No. Okay, it's been a while. <laughs> Okay, we figured it out. You pull this back, then you put the apple on it, and then you spin it, and it starts to peel. There it goes. You really do have to hold so it down, though. What is it putting the peeling into? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I think that I probably gave up trying to make the new shelf and put it on the bar. Yeah, it's pretty nice that it slices it. My dad said he would take the peelings if I saved them for oh, his worms. Good. Plastic bags. Yeah. Look at that. That's great. It works okay. Yeah. Taking it off might be a challenge, huh? We need to put those in a pot to cook. Okay. So why don't you I'll take the end off? Okay, I'll find one. Two. Uh oh. I'm like about to make it not work again. Work again. Work again. Wah! Slices. And you. Oh, I'm great. I just put my jacket on. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I'm doing fine. I don't know what you're telling me. They're delicious. They look good. What do you want to say to Kenna? McKenna, we wish you were here helping us peel these. <laughs> Grandma's telling me I'm incompetent at peeling. <laughs> Start it up? Yeah, you can start it up. I got it. <laughs> All right. So we've got nice blended applesauce. Papa's watching a western. And we're gonna add sugar. About five cups of applesauce. with your heart, you know? I feel like there are no rules with cinnamon. Do you like adding ginger to things? Uh, ginger. Me too. Those cookies are full of ginger. Those cookies are so good. You know what, if that makes six jars, I'd be surprised. I hope it does. <laughs> I could. Okay, so here, if you want to hold it. Yeah, you just hold it. Okay, so yeah. All right. So How do we get a picture of you? Get back by the <laughs> Fill the thing uh, so it's half an inch from the top, right? Oh, you're talking about the applesauce. Yes. Okay. Yes. No water in that one? No water. Okay. Tiny bit more. Lift that scoop up and see what it looks like. You need to get the air out of them. Do you know how to get the air out? out Run the knife down the sides to make sure there's oh. no air. So I put the knife down the sides? Yes. Of the jar? Out if there's any air in it. Okay. Okay. And then you put it right on top. Okay. Just screw top. No, they're just. Oh, you have a screw top. Yes. Okay. Is, it, is it a screw top? It's like, no. Uh, I think I brought two, two pot holders. So it looks like I need to go about up to the line. Probably took a picture of my face. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then lower it into water. That's it. All right, I'm gonna take them out. Just grab this seal. 
Hi Kenna, it's Wednesday. I just got home from youth group. This isn't gonna be one of those vlogs that goes on forever. I just wanted to like close it out. Yeah, it has been, life has been really, really busy lately. Just insane and yeah, busy for a lot of reasons, but it's been really sweet to have a couple of things in there, like getting to take the time to go see grandma and hang out with papa and had his um, westerns on because he's always watching westerns and we just sat and talked and it's just so special and sweet to be able to take some of those moments aside. And going to the Dickens Fair, of course, was amazing. Like I just finished teaching Christmas Carol and so it was really special and really meaningful to me. Calvin's home. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to close this out and say that even in all those crazy busy things, it's been sweet to have a couple of things that make all of it worth it. That sounds really depressing. I just mean it's been nice to have a couple of things that are sweet. Okay, this isn't gonna go on forever. So Hannah, I will see you I guess on Sunday? No, I don't know. Our schedule's all messed up, but I'll see you soon.